So glad to have you with us here at Baumhauer's Victory Grill. And pleased to welcome in the young lady that you heard make that big basket on the highlight. Ali and I from the Alabama women's basketball team. Kind enough to join us. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm going to guess when you started your collegiate career at the University of Illinois, you didn't feel many days like this one in Champaign, right? Not at Not all. Not in February? <laughs> Not at all. I, um, Illinois, I think, was a rough, rough, rough two seasons for me. We didn't win a lot. Um, but coming here, I like winning. So you like winning, wouldn't matter what the weather's like. But yeah. this does, this doesn't hurt. And it's amazing how the sun shines brighter the day after Alabama beats Auburn. It's it's uh, it's amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> Was Tell me your experience of being a part of that rivalry and especially what that crowd was like yesterday at Coleman Coliseum as you started the fourth quarter down 10, but then were able to rally and get a great victory. Well, first, I grew up an Alabama fan. I grew up in Huntsville, Alabama, right. and that's where my mom's from. So I was always an Alabama fan, and I did not like Auburn. So yesterday... So you were just, raised right, is yes, what you're saying. Okay, I was I understand. raised correctly. Just yes. making sure. <laughs> um, so I think just getting that win yesterday just... It feels good. It feels good to be Auburn. I think the way we beat them even felt a little bit better. Even though we didn't play how we wanted to, I think just coming back down 10 uh, in the fourth quarter and just pushing through and fighting, I think it made the win a little bit better. Tell us about the path to get here. Because like you said, you grew up in Huntsville, but, mm -hmm. but you started uh, in the Big Ten mm -hmm. and then make your way back to your home state and the team you always were a fan of. Yeah, so I went to high school in Michigan, East Lansing, okay. Michigan. Um, I played for Michigan Storm there, and I was recruited by a lot of MAC schools and Power 5 schools up north, um, and that's what got me to Illinois. And then I didn't like my uh, two seasons there. Uh, my coach got fired, so I ent entered the transfer portal, and it brought me here to Alabama. And okay. I I'm glad I made this decision. That's well We got an amen <laughs> from the congregation over there. That was that was really good. So you you come into this this program where it's on the uptick. This is now three straight years that Alabama's had 20 wins or more in women's basketball, and Christy Curry has done a great job of building this and doing it the right way. But to be a part of that now that that's got you not just on solid footing, but where you're a really hot team as we move towards March. What's, tell me what that's like to, to be a part of right now. Um, I think it's amazing. I think what Chris, Coach Christie's doing uh, these past few years is amazing. The people she's brought in, um, we've had a lot of transfers these past two seasons, I know. And the piece, people she brought in are really good people. They're great teammates. Um, the coaches are great. I think that it's amazing that Alabama is starting to get back on track. So I, I was looking at your bio a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. did, I, did I read this right? You're a twin? Yes, I'm a, I'm a, a twin. twin sister? I have a twin sister. She goes to school here, actually. She's in graphic design, but she doesn't play any sports. I tell people all the time we're opposites. Uh -huh. she's, she actually has her own painting business, so she's more really? artsy and things like that. I'm more athletic. So, I mean, yeah, we're complete opposites. Does she even <laughs> shoot at all with you? Um, she sometimes rebounds for me. Okay. Uh, she actually played in high school as well, but I think it was just the thing where I have an older sister as well. Um, she could have played college, but it wasn't really her passion. Uh, we all played on the same uh, high school team, but she, I feel like she only did it because we did it. I don't think it was her. She wanted to do that. So, so she rebounds got, for me though. <laughs> you got a fantastic family, mm -hmm. an artistic family family mm -hmm. as well as a very athletic family your dad played football in college at Albion mm -hmm. uh, College but there was a there was a really interesting note if you would tell us a little bit of, you're a tribal citizen and I'm because they put this phonetically I'm gonna yeah. give this a shot <laughs> I'm not gonna try the other part of it Potawatomi yes I'm uh, in a tribe I'm Native American uh, my grandma she's full-blooded um, and I'm in a tribe called Gun Lake Tribe, Matchy B. Nashi Wish, Band of Potawatomi Indians. That's how I was going to yes. say it. That's yes. exactly how I was going to say it. <laughs> and you beat me I'm to sure it. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. No, but that's, that's really interesting. Look, it, it's terrific to have you here. We're glad you found a home back in Sweet Home, Alabama, yes. playing for the Crimson Tide. We wish you the best of luck Thank you. down the stretch. And we're going we're gonna to talk to one of your coaches about okay. you here. So He's don't go too far. Coach. Well, we look forward to, uh, to talking to her and visiting with you again soon and watching you in the tide down the stretch. Thanks again for the time. Thank Ali you. and I, kind enough to join us here at Baumhauer's Victory Grill.